Hello there, my beautiful soul fans. My name is Catalina. Welcome back to my channel, Moonlight Awakening. If you're interested in any of my search services or my handmade jewelry, um, also my Patreon link is below and my social medias and my email, okay? So yes, and if you haven't seen the first, if you haven't seen the first video where I talk about, uh, you know, about, uh, I want to start about the dragon realm i will leave that video below so that way you already have an idea of what is the dragons if you want to know just about you know the dragons speak about how to connect with your dragon oh i was so excited <clears throat> uh, i just love 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 the dragons yes and i will tell you why <laughs> <laughs> um, <clears throat> so, but your, your first question might be and that you're wondering if, do we need to train our dragons though? No. <laughs> They're the ones teaching us. Okay, no, there's no, you don't need to train your dragon at all. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> um. Yes, and, and some of us need to be the voices for the dragons because some of us are meant to do that. We need to speak, we need to be their voices. Um, so some of us, yeah, we do need to be the voices for those for the dragons, for the dragon realm, and to and to share their wisdom and knowledge and to remove those 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 veils that of that that all dragons are evil and that's not true okay and yes dragons carry so much wisdom and love and they're truly powerful and so magical oh my gosh uh, and um yes uh there's there's dragons all over the cosmos not just on this planet earth okay they're everywhere okay <clears throat> so you know, ever since I connected, you know, with my own dragon, once I find out I have my own dragon, yes, we all have one. You have one because you have, you know, you have, this is not, this is not the only life you lived, right? You have lived in other planets and other galaxies than just here on earth. So one of those lifetimes, you did meet a dragon, okay? And, um, and... And and after I knew that that after somebody said like yeah you have your own dragon I was like what so yes I decided to call in my dragon forward and after that I just felt this deep bond with my magical and amazing dragon yes uh, yes and obviously we all have our own personal dragon so calling your personal dragon I call in my dragon uh. Of light and love, uh, calling my own spiritual dragon uh, for my highest, for my highest good, and and imagine it appear in front of you because those, your dragon is just wanting to connect back to you. It's been waiting for gosh, I don't know, eons for you, for you guys to reconnect. Uh, it just, you know, it, it just. You know, I can't explain the emotion I feel towards my dragon, towards the bond. You know, you have to feel it yourself. You can't really explain an, you know, an emotion. Um, and yes, we can also have more than one dragon. You know, since I'm very connected to the to the water, um, there's also like a water dragon also um, that is also working with me. But yeah, you you know um, you you can also have el other elemental dragons. Actually, me and my dragon have been in in other past lives, you know. Since and in one of our past lives, we have battled side by. We've been battling evil side by side. Me and my me and my personal dragon. <clears throat> and 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 I'm not and I'm not saying I'm the only one. There's some of you that also have battle evil, you know, um, you know, you and your dragon have been also working together to fight evil many eons ago, you know, not, not just me. But yes, dragons are very loving, loyal, and very, very protective. Um, 
So yes, my dragon follows me everywhere I go. I could be going in errands, you know, driving around. She will follow me right behind me. <clears throat> yeah, so that's what I mean. Very protective, very loyal. And so yes, uh, dragons can also help you shield the negativity and even from others too. There are, there are gray shielders. So I highly recommend working with the dragons to shield you. You know, even if you're healing with, um, <clears throat> especially um, <clears throat> when, you know, as me, you know, working, um, opening up my healing abilities, you know, and before healing on, on um, before healing on person, I will call my, you know, my dragon to come and also shield me too. You know, when you, it's very important, you know, when you're healing on people. <clears throat> so yes, and and I, I mean, I can even call my dragon to heal that person too. Again, if they're calling, coming to me for, um, uh, to, you know, energetic healing. So dragons are great, 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 you know, for transmutation, they, you know, um, and because they, they use their fiery breath to really dig in there, dig in there and really um, dissolve all that <clears throat> dark emotions that you're feeling. Um, especially today in meditation, I, I have, I felt this emotion coming to the surface and I just call in my dragon to, to, to breathe, to breathe in the fire on me to cleanse me and clear me from this emotion you know whenever you feel like that just call your you know your personal dragon to you know i uh, use that breath of fire and dissolve all that and transmute it away <clears throat> so yes so yes dragons are great master they're they're masters at clearing you know they're really 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 dig dive right into the dark and musky places places where angels can't okay because you know feeling the chip i'm feeling yeah <laughs> because like some angels it's very hard for them to go in there you know they can only do so much so the dragons have no problem digging digging deep okay so so yes also your dragon can also help you raise in vibration um so not only that, if you're an ex an expert on astral travel, you know dragons can take you to other dimensions, you know, and they're they're just traveling experts. They truly, truly are. They will just take you and woo, it just and then it's just a beautiful adventure. <laughs> um, you know. Um, I also feel like we all have um, dragon codes within us because if if dragons can birth galaxies uh, and other planets, that means um, that means we also carry this dragon codes within us too. That I don't know. That's how I feel about it. Um, you know, so I wouldn't even be surprised that they even help birth Mother Earth. You know, and you might. We wondering, well, what, what about God? What about you know, Source Creator? Well, they only do it only only if God's will. They do everything out of God's will. So God, for example, God, God, God will tell the dragon, okay, create this new planet. I'm like, okay, so again, they do it for the the will of God, okay. And did you know, oh, did you know that even, there's also some Ascendant Masters that have their own dragon that they work with. For example, King Arthur. King Arthur, oh, I feel chills. King Arthur has his own red dragon. Yes, I even work with King Arthur, his red dragon, when it comes to transmutation. Yes, I even uh, done, um, you know, uh, meditation with him, and not only that, also Quan Jean, Goddess Quan Jean, she also has a dragon, and her dragon is also her twin flame. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, even your twin flame can be a dragon, yeah, and in her in her twin flame, the dragon, he helped her heal those really, 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 really deep wounds that she went through uh, when, 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 um, 
when she was leaving the earth experience, her dragon came to her in a human form to to uh, to to really help her, you know, and be the greatest and to really show her who she truly was and why she came here for. And he stayed by her side the entire way. It was just a beautiful bond. Oh, I'm getting emotional. <laughs> so anyway. <laughs> okay, but yes, truly really magic and special. That's what I'm saying. Once you connect with your own personal dragon, it just it just this unbreakable bond. No, nobody can break the beautiful bond you have. It just, it just, it just so beautiful. All this incredible image that someone captured on Facebook. They were watching the Aurora lights, and oh my gosh, they captured this amazing dragons and and the auroras it was such magical and incredible if you have facebook and you would like to check this person out go check them out because oh my gosh it was so magical it, I, this is one of my bucket lists to see the aurora lights <laughs> Well, yes, um, yes, she does follow me everywhere I go, even when I go errands. <clears throat> um, you know, after I called her, um, the day I called her, two days, two days uh, later, I saw her flying in the sky. It, and I saw her in the sky, and it, uh, they will show themselves like a shaped cloud. It was so magical and beautiful. I got so freaking excited. Even my little sister was around when she saw it. Yes, I took pictures of it. I took, I like to document everything, like everything and then post it on my social media. That's what I'm saying. If you really wanna steal the magic that I experienced, follow me, you know, and um, and yeah, and I have, I've taken two, so far I've taken two pictures of my dragon, um, so I'm definitely, gonna, obviously I'm, I'm just going to show them to you guys, um, so yeah, it, it just happened when I'm driving around, when you least expect it, I, I, I was literally in the busiest streets, it doesn't matter what you're doing, it doesn't matter how busy the road, it doesn't matter where you at, you know, that uh, you're going to have seen your dragon somehow. Okay, I um, mean, if you want your dragons to you, like, please, my dragon, uh, show myself, show yourself to me, and just have an open mind. Okay, don't, um, you know, uh, take the expectations out. Maybe you might gonna see your personal dragon in a dream. You know, maybe, um, you know, maybe you're gonna see it, maybe shaped like a cloud. So pay attention to the sky. Uh, maybe, um, I don't know. Like I said. Keep an open mind to tell like, hey, my dragon, show me that you're there. Show me, um, show me a sign uh, and, and they will show you, okay? So you have an open mind to tell you, yeah, I'm, I'm with you um, and I'm here. So I'm trying to do last minute touch up in the video that I posted there about the dragon and I look and I was like, what? That looks like a dragon. It's already fading away. I was like, oh my gosh, look at that. There's the dragon. Thank you. It's already fading away, but I just noticed it. I will show pictures because I also took a picture too. Oh my gosh. Thank you, my dragon. Thank you for showing yourself. Whoop, whoop. See, there you go. Ask for a sign and you will get it. <laughs> she does hangs out near my bed um <clears throat> she does hang near my bed so wherever i'm sleeping at she will be his chilling above my ceiling and i noticed this because when i was having i was having an astral travel experience um i noticed this I noticed her, she was like hanging on top of my ceiling. They can they can shrink if they need to. So for, for her to, you know, to stay near me and hang while I'm sleeping, she will shrink herself and she will just, she will just be there 
um, and I saw this beautiful serpent like uh, dragon it was so beautiful and I saw her all white and she was shimmering the beautiful shimmers I've the most gorgeous shimmers I ever seen and it was so beautiful and and she was just hanging near my bed oh my god it was that's the way I saw her um so yeah um and also and I even asked her uh, my dragon um do do did you find yourself a life partner because dragons yeah they will find they can um they will they can you know if they want to they will find themselves a partner and she said yeah i do have a, a life partner i'm like okay that's beautiful you know so so yeah her name is luna my dragon's name is luna and she told me because i was uh, doing this um i received this deck I receive a deck and and well and I really really wanted a, a dragon deck so and after that I was doing the first time I used a card the first I was communicating with my dragon and they told me Luna and when I said it out loud I this this I just felt this 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 energy thing come over me and and I felt this emotion come it's like something triggered that when I said Luna, my it just got boom, just this thing just like tell it was telling me, yeah, this is my name, this is me, this is the dragon that's been around you. I just ah, uh, you know, it was just very powerful. Oh, I'm, I'm never gonna forget it. Um, and and yeah, so um. Not only that, I have another friend that she kind of see her like a soft pink, um, you know, uh, that's what she told me. But also, um, my my dragon Luna, she's also a dragon of self compassion with a little spice into her. <laughs> but yeah, she's definitely helping me with my self confidence. Um, yeah, so I really, really, I really need that. And also, by the way, um, someday, um, baby, you know, one thing at a time. But one day, I will be speaking, dra uh, speaking dragon light language. Yes, dragon light language, and I can't wait for that. Uh, again, uh, there's so many things I want to do, but one thing at a time. Eventually, I don't know when. Someday, you will know when I start doing some speaking some dra uh, dragon light language, you know, I'll put it in the, um, I'll post about it. And um, not only that, eventually, um, hopefully <clears throat> this year, I'll, hopefully I have, uh, I really want to create dragon um, 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 jewelry, dragon pendants for men and women with dragon energy um, in this beautiful um, crystals. Um, for uh, for you guys to carry the dragon energy and healing wherever you guys are at. So that's another uh, you know as that's an another goal of mine. So yes, also be aware. I already done. Um, yes, I've done. I've been doing fairy uh, jewelry, but then I also gonna do dragon jewelry. Oh, okay, wait. I just I just wanna do it all. <laughs> one thing at a time. One thing at a time. <laughs> so um. <clears throat> but yes, when you communicate and start working with your dragon, you know, um, just you just gotta feel this beautiful magical connection, and you know, dragons love working with us and communi communicating with us. So start communicating and working with your beautiful magical dragon. Um, they can also help you activate your kundalini. You know, and if you notice any dragon shape like clouds, that also means that you that you are in the fifth dimension. Not just dragons. It, also, if you see like a, uh, an angel shaped uh, cloud, uh, yes, I've captured that too. <laughs> and 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 unicorn. So that means you're ta you're tapping into that 5D. Well, you're in the 5D. You've already seen them up in the sky in a cloud shaped form. But yeah, so you know. 
had to communicate with your uh, personal dragon. You know, um, you know, close your eyes. That way, so we can t take away the distraction outside of us. Um, close your eyes and say, I call in my personal dragon. I'm my greatest and highest good. And imagine your dragon coming out right in front of you. Uh, you might feel this gush of energy chant like running all over your body. Um, that's how I I felt the first time I called in my dragon. I just felt this powerful energy just coming in front of me and because that's where my dragon appeared right in front of me um and and yeah so and that's all you do and and start speaking to your dragon um like pet your dragon hug your dragon you can give it a hug you know and your dragon will be right right there in front of you this is waiting for you to reconnect once again um so yeah let me know if you already called in your dragon if you call in your dragon already what um or 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 you're barely calling in your dragon right now what did you feel something did you feel an emotion did you feel your dragon's energy where did you feel your dragon's energy just let me know. Just put it. I don't care if you already put a comment. Put another comment on this video and say, oh my gosh, after I call in my dragon, I guess what? I saw it on the sky too. And I don't know. I just want to know about it. So, I, okay, so I just got my dragon deck uh, path, dragon path. Okay. So, so, um, and call, uh, since my dragon Luna is right here, I'm going to ask her, anybody that's watching this video, um, my dragon Luna, please give us a dragon message. Anyone that's watching this video, let, okay, let's see. Ugh. Ooh, Lord Kathumi, Lord Kathumi, wow. He's like, he was like, he's like a wizard. It looks like a wizard, uh, you know, tapping into the wizard, our wizard abilities. My, you know, my dragon is letting us know that, yes, we are old wizards. We are old wizards and tend to remember our, our, that, that we are, that. Let's see. Um, we, let's see here. Let me, Lord Kahumi. Um. So yeah, look at whom he's dead. This is actually a galactic dragon coming through. Galactic dragon. Um, let's see. So pretty much, um, <clears throat> my my dragon Luna wants to tell us all who's watching this video that you are the change. And this is what it says in the book, okay? When Lord Kahumi first arrived, he lost no he lost no time informing me, me who he was. I am dragon, I am a dragon elder. Ooh, dragon elder. He's a dragon elder right here, okay? Um and and sp and spokes dragon for the Galactic Council. Ooh, I'm feeling the chills. I feel it. Yeah. Okay. And he also, and this galactic dragon also said, if you desire to be able to hold the energies of the fifth to the, to the seventh dimension, what did I say earlier? You're connecting to the 5D. Uh, if you desire to be able to hold the energies of the fifth to the fifth dimension, you need to, to clear all your, all your earthly woes and fears. And your deep and your deep need for control. Your light bodies need to in a needs to be in alignment with those of earth, with those of the earth. 
and the astrological light matrix. Only then you will be able, you become a tool and tuning device to lift the energy of the planet. As more of you gather together to do this work, the, great, the greater will be, be your chance of bringing lasting peace on earth. Oh, that's so amazing. Also, this Lord Kahumi also went to explaining that um, he went to explaining why all dragons are here at this time. Why are dragons here at this time on this planet Earth? And he said we had to come because lasting peace is achievable on Earth. Uh, there are other galaxies beyond your human understanding at this time where it has happened. Um, we dragons are as old as the universe itself. Oh, I'm feeling the chills. And have encountered and witnessed humanity in all disguises through the ages. For example, like the fall of Atlantis. You, you are the change. Look, Kahumi, we are the change. We are the wizard. We are the change. So, so, a, so, calling your personal dragon to our Lord Kahumi, or Lord Kahumi, you, or you can call on Lord Kahumi, you know, to help you shift into this five, five D and seven D, and to help you transmute and clear all this, uh, you know, all these fears and worries and and uh, and self control that you feel like you need to control everything in your life. So call upon Lola Kahumi, calling your personal dragon to help you and assist you. Wow. Yes. You are the whistle. You are the change. And and we, we can get through this. And thank you for this beautiful message. Thank you. Wow. Oh, I love it. So like and subscribe for more videos to help you on your spiritual awakening journey. And until next time, bye.